Hey guys, we are back with video three in our, in our hypertrophy series. And today I want to share with you a lot of logic around hypertrophy training. Because there's all this evidence out there and people like Brad Schoenfeld, Brett Contreras, and a lot of other scientists out there doing such great work and I'm extremely grateful. But this can be quite confusing for a lot of people. So I want to give you a few little logical and very common sense kind of tips to improve your muscle mass. One of the things is that you have to eat more food. If you're not seeing any results, add 500 to 1000 calories a day on top of what you're already eating and then you gauge it from there. If you're not gaining anything, then you need to eat more. If you're gaining too much and you're becoming a fat slob, you need to eat less. Other than that, I want to talk about adherence and consistency. Most people want to put on muscle mass, they want to lose fat, they want to shred, they want to get a really good physique, but all they do is 30 minutes a week at the gym. That's not going to work. You need to be in there three to five times a week. You can either work your whole body at once if you do three times a week, or you can split it up into body parts if you have five sessions a week. If you have four sessions a week, then you might want to do two upper body and two lower body sessions. And I want you to add a lot more volume in than what you already have. Anywhere between 15, 20, 30 sets per muscle group per week will give you a lot of volume and that's exactly what you need. From there, stay away from the 1, 2 and 3 RM lifts. It just, it doesn't make sense when it comes to hypertrophy. And from there, let's talk about about isolation and compound movements. Obviously, we want to get your bench press, your squats, your deadlifts, your overhead presses, your dips and things like that in there. But if you can't do them, don't worry. There's nothing magical about them. But another thing that's very, very important to understand is that, let's say, the squat as an example, your legs can handle a lot more work than your low back can. So then, if you're squatting too much, you're going to get low back trouble. So you need to find a volume that you can recover from without causing any pain in your low back. And then perhaps supplementing with more isolation work, such as leg extensions, the leg press, hamstring curls, and things like that. Some very common sense tips there to improve your hypertrophy and muscle mass and grow a really good physique over time. If you need any more clarification or resources, anything like that, just post below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching.